Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video I'm going to cover how you can record HDR footage using OBS Studio. So previously if you attempted to record HDR content using OBS Studio, then the resulting video would look far too bright and not washed out. However, with the 28.0 release, OBS finally has support for recording HDR content, but there are some caveats. First, this is only supported on Windows 10 or 11, so unfortunately Linux and macOS users miss out at least at the time of recording this video. Secondly, recording HDR is only supported on NVIDIA 10 series and newer GPUs, as well as the equivalent 5000 series or newer from AMD. Finally, for obvious reasons, you will need a HDR supported monitor, and you will need to have enabled this setting within the display settings of Windows. But if you do meet these requirements, then enabling HDR support in OBS takes a couple of minutes. So step one is to install OBS Studio. You want to ensure that you download OBS Studio from the official site and you can do that by clicking the big Windows button. This will download the installation package to your system, so all you need to do is load it up, run it and then install OBS. Once you've done that, launch the application. So step two is to enable support for HDR within OBS. So first navigate to File, Settings, Advanced and under where it says Colour Format, make sure that is set to P010, the 10-bit option here. You also want to set the colour space to REC.2100PQ and then I also set the colour range to full. Once you've done that, click apply. Next you want to click on the output tab and set the output mode to advanced. Under the recorder tab, you want to set the encoder to NVIDIA NVENC HEVC or whatever the equivalent is for AMD systems. You can also mess around with the encoder settings here to, to set up your desired file size as well as the quality of the video that you actually record. Once you've done all that, click OK. So step 3 is to set up sources. At this stage you've already enabled HDR support within OBS but we need to actually set some sources from which we're going to capture out the audio or the video. Now typically when I record video, I use a combination of the display capture for desktop tutorials as well as the game capture for capturing game footage. For example, to add game capture as a source, click on the plus symbol at the bottom and choose the option that says game capture. Click OK. Now the mode I normally choose is capture any full screen application, but you do also have the option of specific windows as well as foreground windows with hotkeys. You also have a couple of options here you can tick. The only one that I really use is the capture cursor. And then finally at the bottom, under where it says color space, you want to make sure that you've set that to REC 2100PQ. Once you've done that, press OK. And that's it really. You've now set up HDR recording for OBS Studio. But in conclusion, since I produce both Windows and Linux tutorials for my YouTube channel, I always found it a pain to have to turn off HDR whenever I'm recording something on Windows. However, this is no longer the case. Thanks for watching guys, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.